The patient here is positioned prone for a right-sided thoracic paravertebral block. The transducer is oriented transverse at midline. The spinous process can be seen here as a hyperechoic reflection with a dark acoustic shadow obscuring the underlying structures. With identification of the right transverse process, the transducer is translated laterally to position the transverse process at the lower left corner of the ultrasound image. Subtle manipulations of the ultrasound transducer, including translation, rotation, and tilting of the probe may be necessary to optimize the image. The optimal view here visualizes the transverse process as a hyperechoic reflection with dark acoustic shadowing at the lower left corner of the ultrasound image. Parietal pleura, together with the innermost intercostal membrane, are seen as a bright, hyperechoic line. Both the superior costal transverse ligament and contiguous internal intercostal membrane are seen here as well. The muscular structures include the trapezius, erector spinae, and external intercostal muscle with levatoris costarum. Approximately 3 to 5 milliliters of lidocaine is administered subcutaneously prior to insertion of the block needle. As observed here, the trajectory of the block needle may be approximated with the local needle. The block needle is then inserted and visualized in plane with a lateral to medial trajectory to penetrate the superior costal transverse ligament. A subtle pop or crunch may be elicited. Careful aspiration and injection of local anesthetic in aliquots will show depression of the echogenic pleura away from the needle. At our institution, we typically use about 20 milliliters of 0.5% ropivacaine or bupivacaine. The same patient is now undergoing a left-sided thoracic paravertebral block at the same level. The transverse process again is seen in the lower left corner of the image and the adjacent bright hyperechoic line represents the parietal pleura. The superior costal transverse ligament and internal intercostal membrane are not visualized as clearly here. The muscular structures are again identified. The block needle is guided to penetrate the superior costal transverse ligament. As we saw previously, careful aspiration and injection of local anesthetic in aliquots will show depression of the echogenic pleura away from the needle.